channel. Today is Tuesday, September 29th, and it's 5.44 in the morning. Gave myself a haircut late last night. I was outside and it was just so hot and humid yesterday here in New England. I, t I took the air conditioners out of the windows, so decided to give myself a haircut. I went for the uh, the smaller blade too, but I'm gonna have a nice breakfast this morning. I don't know if you can hear. That's the coffee gurgling in the other well in the kitchen. But I got a package here from uh, Amazon that's inspiring this morning's breakfast. I think you can guess what it is. That's tapping. Let's do this here. Thank you. 
last piece of toast I put some honey on it but uh, yeah got my Heinz 57 sauce just need to pour my coffee delicious. Let's see, should I use the end for the uh, honey? For one of these guys? Alright. They just... Sometimes I put the egg on the toast, but other times it just... It's like a ritual. You dip your toast in the egg yolk. are revolting. They're doing what they have, what they want to do. It's out of my control. Okay. Back to the regularly scheduled program. Boy, that was going to be real smooth. And then out of out of don't I don't even know what happened there. to be clapped. 
I see here. I know I always see the Europeans eat like this with the fork. They never switch hands. lid and the 
like this big, big battle. Okay, so let me take this. Uh, so what I do is I take this sausage here. I usually have two of them, but I'm gonna I'm gonna cut back. I'm actually feeling a little full. I got the. Uh, I usually just have it puddled on the side here. Then I fold up the bread, the toast. Have myself a little. 57 sauce and breakfast sausage uh, sandwich. stays home and learns how to start cooking their own meals again. People aren't going to be going to restaurants. Oh, that was delicious. What time is it? Let's see. It's 6.30. So, less than an hour to cook and eat. There's some, some honey. That, that reminds me, I turned on the TV yet last night. Last uh, it's like four o'clock, something like that, and um, they had a documentary, a nature documentary on Borneo. It's really interesting. They have this bear. I think it's the uh, the lightest bear in the world, or the smallest bear in the world, and uh, it search searches for like grubs and stuff, but that's not enough to s sustain it. And the reason it's so small is it, uh, I guess its main food source is honey. So it has to climb up incredible heights to get at the little uh, holes in the trees where these, uh, these not the European honeybee, it's, the, it's a native species of Borneo, almost like a miniature wasp. And it's got these huge claws and padded feet. just scurried right up the tree and uh, tore open the, the nest and they had the honey. I guess Borneo is such a uh, diverse uh, environment. They have like these lush tropical rainforests, but de uh, deceptively, they have like the poorest soil. There's no nutrients in the soil. All the soil, they get so much rain, all the nu nutrients get washed away, and a lot of it never even makes it uh, to the bottom um, of, of the, uh, I was going to say the bottom canopy, but the reason is they have, they've got, I think they said, I don't know if it was the largest, one of the largest caves on the planet. And I think 
guy said you could drive, a, you could fly a 747 into it, and um, or three 747s, and it's a huge population of bats, and the bats eat, I think they said nine, I could be mistaken, it was in the tons, like nine or three tons of, um, of insects a night. And that's like nine tons less nutrients that get to go, go down to the bottom of the jungle floor. So, surprisingly, it's very poor soil. Purchases. Really appreciate that. And uh, yeah, that was an 
nice breakfast, two eggs, sunny side up, but I had it covered so they get steamed a little bit, and um, three pieces of toast, a couple of, three breakfast sausages, and uh, yep, the Heinz 57 sauce really makes the meal there, and um, some raw honey for the last piece of toast, so thanks again everyone for stopping. 